Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to walk you through a really powerful image generation workflow using Comfy UI. One that lets me use two separate LoRa models, which I've previously trained, one on myself and one on my wife, uh, in the same scene, just to give you an example of the scene. Uh, the reason I created this setup was to generate personalized images of me and my wife side by side uh, with each of us looking distinct but still sharing the same environment. This is uh, basically super useful for things like couple portraits, stylized storytelling or even AI driven visual memories. Uh, the goal of this workflow is to basically apply two different LoRa's each tied to separate prompts and then blend them together seamlessly in one image. I basically wanted full control over both characters, their looks, outfit, poses, but still have a shared background, lighting and camera angles. So it feels like a real photo. Uh, just before I start going into the workflow, I'll quickly just show you a few images which I was able to generate. So this is me uh, outside in a park. Uh, sitting in a cafe with my wife, go-karting, sitting on a beach, enjoying a bonfire, in a desert, safari, and then again the portrait. Okay, let's deep dive into the workflow. First, what I did was I basically loaded my clip models using the dual clip loader. Then I used the create hook LoRa nodes, one for my LoRa and one for my wife. These are wired into set clip hooks for each one of them, which allows me to inject each LoRa into its own prompt encoder independently. Uh, then also each character has their own clip text encode node. This means that I can describe uh, myself with the look, clothes and pose on one side and describe her separately on the other. To make this image feel natural, I make sure that both the prompts, uh, I make sure that both the prompts reference the same environment and mood. Let's say like two characters standing next to each other uh, are at a neon lit nightclub. The image is sharp, photorealistic camera shot. So this would be in both of these, uh, you know, character prompts. After that, uh, let's go to the masking logic here and talk about what we have done here. So I have actually used create gradient mask to create a mask. And after that, I uh, went into uh, like pushed it into threshold mask and then blur mask uh, to basically split your mask into two different ones. So let me show you how that looks like here. So this is how your mask would look like. And also uh, this lets me keep my character on the left and hers on the right or vice versa, while basically blending them softly in the middle. Uh, if you do not blend them, you might find it difficult to, you know, get these characters to stand together in a scene. So that's really important. Uh, let's now come back to merging these prompts into one. So as you can see, I've used pair condition set properties and pair condition set properties combined for uh, for merging prompts into one generation. So these nodes basically mix both prompts using the gradient mask. So each half of the image is controlled by a different LoRa and the prompt, but it still feels like a cohesive photo. So the inverted mask from here is then fitted into the condition pair set props combined and the positive and negative of uh, my wife's uh, character prompt come here and then I get my prompt to come here. After that, uh, we basically push the uh, push everything into your case sampler via decode and then quickly use an upscaler to basically upscale your image. Uh, I'm using a 1024 by 1024 uh image basically to do that okay so now let's move on to the challenges i faced so when let's talk about some real world challenges here 
so if your prompt is super long and if you're not adhering to the token limit uh, it basically does not work the the output is not great and also sometimes it breaks the workflow so keep your uh, prompts efficient and description efficient flux models also you use float 8 so memory management was very important so first i was trying to use uh, trying to run this workflow on a5000 and so it was breaking the workflow every time it went to my k sampler so i switched to a a6000 which actually helped me to run this workflow successfully uh, masking also takes a lot of trial and error you know if you do a too sharp of a mask and you get line uh, if you do too soft and the characters start blending together so you need to play with these numbers and figure out you know what works best for your lower models and your image generation style okay uh, this kind of setup is perfect for personalized AI portraits, relationship storytelling, or even, you know, generating concept art with two strong visual identities in the frame. So let me know if, if this makes sense with you. Thank you.